there's a lot of physical effects of the kinds of products that we're using every single day. I don't know all of the science behind it, but it's not too difficult to understand how those could have a pretty negative effect. My thought process is that even if they didn't have a negative effect physically, there absolutely is a mental downside to being a mindless consumer. If you look at any business, their favorite target customer is a mindless person because that's somebody that will purchase their product, invest in their business, and not actually ask what's going into the product or business. That is why I would really encourage thinking about what you put in your body, thinking about the things you use in your house because it makes a really big deal again not only physically but mentally in terms of your personality and approach to everything you do not only these kinds of decisions getting the day started off did the ice bath and run per usual to start things out it's about 8 16 in the morning doing a bit of writing right now just finishing that up and then probably going to post my running video on instagram i'm freaking shadow banned though all of those videos perform like garbage so i'm just trying to remain consistent keep putting out quality content trying to write the best messages and actually help people the frustration for me is that if i see the messages that i say be being beneficial I would like that to reach more people so something I'm trying to work on and get figured out but you know there's no promises in that regard so I'm gonna get that posted and then other than that we've been trying to work on getting some of the household products optimized a little bit so we've been finding that every detergent and soap and deodorant freaking shampoo all that stuff just has a ton of garbage in it so we're gonna go to the farmer's market today, see if we can find any good stuff. Not expecting a crazy amount there, but we'll probably take a look online, see if we can really get some good information and then try and pick out some things that are a little bit better for the old health. Catch you guys there. Most important farmer's market pickup. My girlfriend. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Just pack them all in the back. You guys too. I hope they have fruit and stuff. That would be actually really well, isn't good. Isn't that like half of what a farmer's market is? I mean, it's supposed to be. The last one literally had peaches and that's it. What? But if they had raw milk, Ooh. fruit, mm. and tallow, Tallow honey also, they have some good local honey. Last oh, one we went honey. to did have some local honey. Dude, if they had a little, like a little skincare tallow thing, I would get that 100%. Yeah, I'm excited. Is there a dream that you gave up on that you would still like think about today? Is there anything that you wanted to do that you, you gave up on and it's like on the back burner right now? Probably not what you're looking for, but I'm I'm doing it. Doing the dream. So that's, that's kinda what I thought. Okay. I mean if you've got if you're out here doing yeah, yeah. making content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Then that usually qualifies. I mean I think there's a uh, there's a progression involved. So maybe some parts of that dream haven't come to fruition yet, but in general let's say uh, I think the pursuit of it is the more important thing to getting there so sure I, I stay relatively fulfilled by the idea of that yeah completely agree with that yeah. what about you I got really into photography and, okay. and so and that took up most of the time but there's no money in throwing photo shoots so like the monetary stuff is something that I want to focus on I guess it's a matter of mixing up the skill set because like if you were to work on the photography and then it didn't work out in terms of the business you'd probably think that it was a, a failure or most people would but I mean just the effort put in like that attaches to you as a person oh yeah you know what I mean so that's why I feel like I mean I have a bunch of businesses I worked on growing up like I had a nutrition bar company and sure I would have wanted that to do well but now I know how to build websites and design packaging and use Photoshop Illustrator edit videos make exactly. advertisements speak with people right you know, so I mean I feel like it it all works out but yeah it just takes time for it to yeah I completely agree. I, th yeah. I think what you've learned along the way yeah. and the person that you become as a result of a goal that may or may not be achieved. Yeah, absolutely. How many people have you asked this so far? You guys are my fourth group. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> 
I'll subscribe right now. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Dude, Chris, nice to meet to you guys. Absolutely. Good luck with everything. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Spiciest coffee. Oh, interesting. For labeling coffee, is coffee like ingredient based? Like, are there a bunch of stuff that people put in it, or is it just like certain sourcing for beans? We tumble an oil, uh -huh. an extract oil of Carolina Reaper, and we tumble it into the bean. Into the bean. So we just roast the bean. It's a single origin bean. Okay. We roast it and tumble it. That I just got back from Vegas. Smoking too many beers. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, if you can find a way to stick to like the solid ingredients, people will freaking. It's a, I think it's yeah. a differentiator. I'm the kind of person I don't do sauces, I don't do anything processed at all, and it's yeah. because literally everything has some sort of garbage in it. You know, it makes it more scalable, can sit on a shelf for a hundred years, but you know, yeah. is that even the target customer? It's canned uh, via vacuum seal for like 12 plus months. Once yeah. you open it, it's two to four weeks. I mean, as it should be. Convenience is kind of the, the killer, because everybody wants something to be convenient, but then like they said, don't care about no. the effects of that. That's awesome, man. Well, good luck with everything. Guys, thanks yeah. for coming over. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good luck nice with you guys' you, stuff. Man. I'm Nick, by the way. 100% nice crew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Owen. Owen, yeah, nice to meet thanks, you guys. Man. Dude, awesome. good luck. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. appreciate Take it. Care. <laughs> we'll see you again, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I put like soap in it. I just haven't like actually washed it with shampoo. I use the Castile soap, the Bronner's, whatever. Mm. Dr. Boner's. For historical humans washing their hair. I feel like it was probably a mechanical cleaning versus a chemical cleaning. I feel like every shampoo is just. You're oh, like that. Dude, like I that. cannot wait to get yeah. this cold left. Are you ripping it now? I'm gonna rip it right now. What are we looking at? Dude, get off that side, bro. That is porn. I'm trying to make this like an actual valuable video. Well, I'm gonna get a couple of you guys. All right, see ya. Made with organic oils, 18 in one uses. Face, body, hair, laundry, pets, and dishes. Concentrated. I love how they have to put vegan on there for the marketing. It's so stupid. Where did you find the document? Go to, uh, I sent it on Instagram. Okay, home essentials optimization. God, yeah, dude. America. Damn, dude. dude, these stats are amazing. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Sarah, what kind of shampoo do you use? Tastes like swath. How bad is that? Pretty. Pretty bad. I use all the good stuff and my skin just, you know. I have no skin care. It's genetics. Okay. I hate to blame things on genetics at all because I feel like <laughs> it would be worth just taking control of what you have control over. What's our topic on now? Brennan found this document and it's just got every single category of uh, cleaning basically and all the good brands. Mm -hmm. So we got the water filter, we looked at the shower heads. Toothpaste. Van Man's, so they're actually pretty legit. Oh, it's powder? Tooth powder. Dental, biological dentistry. Maybe toothpaste powder is the next wave here. need to stop brushing our teeth. Yeah. I'm just gonna chew gum all the time and not brush my teeth over. Dude, that's something I haven't had gum in freaking years. I love gum. Yeah, I did I like too. Gum. I have a bunch of xylitol gums. If you just like keep that in your mouth, especially after a meal, it like bounces yeah. pH and, and gets rid of like shit. Dude, we don't need to brush our teeth. <laughs> yeah, probably not. for 
36 bucks on a discount. Beef tallow, olive oil, beeswax. See, we can make that. We could literally make that. Isn't there something to tallow and zinc being that the zinc doesn't absorb into your skin? It's supposed to create a layer over your skin. That's what reflects the light. Right, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if that's part of the whole comedogenic thing not mattering as much because it's... It's just a layer. It's instead. all of the skin yeah. instead of like absorbing into the skin. Effective. Yet edible. I feel like anything you put on your skin should be, you should be able to ingest it. The mag stick. Non-greasy monounsaturated fat, that's actually a wax. So the deodorant is the jojoba oil, magnesium chloride flakes, grass fed and grass finished sweat tallow, it's distilled water, beeswax. Dude, that's actually tough. 100% not, not vegan, that's the best shirt. And proud of it. This right is there. a good brand. I like yeah. this brand. What's up? Hey. Oh, we're muted. <laughs> what? Shampoo. What do you do? I use this company called Pros. They claim to have like the phthalates, um, all those like weird chemicals mm -hmm. in most shampoos. Have you ever gone an extended period of time without washing your hair? I go actually a few times a week where I just use conditioner. Once or twice a week shampoo. If I'm like sweating a lot or I just feel like, feel, like a nice clean, but okay. I don't know, I think I can do without it. I also tried um, is it in a bag? Yeah. Blue is under the uh, the Reddit thread no poo, the no poo movement. Okay. What do you guys do about like laundry detergent? Vinegar. I still use like something that doesn't have, it's not like Tide, but it's not that. We're looking at the tallow skincare stuff. There's a brand, Fat Skin. There's so many tallow companies currently, it's insane. We wanted to get the tallow and zinc oxide for the sunscreen, like sunscreen. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I burn and I get freckles, so I'm not nice and tan like this guy. Yes. I want to believe that there's a certain tolerance to being out in the sun, but then there's also kind of a limit. Skin. I don't ever wear sunscreen. I don't burn. At all? Never. Like you could just be outside all day long. Like even if you're out there for like four hours, like five hours a day. I mean, I haven't really been out. I mean, I'm outside, but not not straight five hours, like in the beat sun. Yeah. So I'm sure you listen to some of the podcasts and all that about the, even if you're not getting burnt, the sun is still damaging your skin to a certain yeah. extent. And then yeah. there's the people, I mean, there's like the polar yeah, opposite I, I side. I hear all the time from like my mom, I go to a dermatologist, like you still, you don't want to get wrinkles. You don't want to get any skin yeah. cancers. At the end of the day, I also believe that it is your diet and a lot of that yeah. comes from your diet. Yes. It's all like controversial, but I just believe that it's not necessarily from the sun ultimately. I mean, that's, that's the tough part. Cause I usually go into a, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like all the way on the side of if your diet is super dialed and you do everything right, then you ought to not get freaking fried by the sun. I've been yeah. eating the way I do for years and right. I'll get torn apart. Do you hear also, this is like another thing that even if your diet is great now, like years prior, if you were eating a certain way, it's still like in your body, yeah. so maybe there's something going on. Oh my God. Sorry. Sometimes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, what about toothpaste? I use Dr. Bronner's. Okay, I've been okay. using that for years. Also, I got sent this like mineral tooth powder. Van Man's or whatever. Have yes, you seen that? yes. Like you dip it in the powder. Anyways, I think I think that about wraps it up. So yeah. we appreciate the uh, we appreciate the insight. We'll let you know if we find anything else. It's a lot of work to make these kinds of decisions and that's kind of the disappointing thing about what we're looking into is that it actually takes this much effort just to make reasonably smart decisions with simple household products. Literally toothpaste, shampoo, soap, detergent. We're definitely going to link this so you guys can look up some of these products and yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. All right, we are well, done talking about Dude, I'm oh. glad you just held me oh, back, bro. Right. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna open make a knee touch your elbow. Dude, there's hair in my freaking shorts. Ah. Brother, ooh. And that hair ooh, brother. We've wrapped up all of the research and uh, trying to optimize all these household products and 
all the fun conversations with that. We're about to go to Zilker Park first, do a sprint workout, a little barefoot in the grass action. And then uh, we're gonna head out to Barton Springs, jump in the water a bit, swim around. Let's get moist with the boys. Yeah, let's go. If you enjoyed this video, really appreciate you watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be posting new videos every single week. Looking to continue bringing as much value as possible and a bit of entertainment. Dude, these are so weird. Obviously can't, uh, can't say anything without a ball bouncing or some gay person speaking. But comment what you thought about this video. would love to hear what you guys want to see more of. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Dude, I could run this. Oh yeah, dude. You can say it.